Hey guys, it's Kick Up Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. You guys gave me so much love on the makeup look that I did in my LA Colors product review video, so thank you so much for that. And you wanted to see a tutorial, so today I'm showing you how to get this eye look. Um, it's a little bit different than the eye look that I did in my product review, but it's pretty much the same concept. I just use more of orange and cranberry tones than pinky tones. It's not the exact same, but um, the glitter that I'm wearing is the same glitter that I wore in that video. So if you still want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. I just want to show you guys my outfit because I'm really feeling it today. Even though it's really simple, but I just got some hope earrings. This hoodie that I bought for like 25 bucks from H&M. Um, and then I got these fish nets on that I got from Fashion Nova and these boots <laughs> God, I gotta be really flexible for this and they're thigh high which is what I love they're from I was gonna say Fashion Nova they're from Simmy Shoes S-I-M-M-I -M -M -I, I believe everything in the link below but yeah I'm just feeling I'm really feeling this outfit let me get you guys a better look I love that oversized sweater like dress type of look with some thigh high boots. I think this isn't a size small, but this is from the men's side of H&M. Yeah, that is my outfit of the day. First, I just wanna say I'm sorry if my lips look really crusty. I tried everything and I tried to apply this so many times. This is the ColourPop Cosmetics Ultra Matte Lipstick in the color Uiji. And it's such a beautiful color, but it is super drying and super crackly and it's really hard to apply, so I don't recommend getting this. But I was too lazy to take it off and choose another color, so we're just gonna roll with it, okay? To start, I'm going into my new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Brushes palette, Yes Girl, into this deep orange shade with this blending brush that I got from the Wish app. And I'm really gonna blend that into my crease, making sure there are no harsh lines. And I'm really using that windshield wiper movement and also little circular motions. You don't want to pick up a bunch of products straight off the bat and just put it on your lids. You want to pick up a little bit, blend it in your crease, then pick up some more product, blend it in again, and keep doing that until you get the intensity that you want. Next, I'm picking up this cranberry shade with this kind of flat blending brush. This brush is going to allow me to target that area above my double lid. And I'm doing this because I want my eyes to appear more deep set and like my lids are a little bit bigger. But we're going to cut the crease with the glitter so that's also going to make my eyes appear bigger. I'm looking down and then back up and making sure that that cranberry shade shows when I'm looking up because I do have a hooded lid. Um, a lot of that color can get lost in all that skin. Because I want a really gradient look, I'm gonna take this sparse tapered brush and blend out the edge of those colors. And I'm just going directly on that line because I don't wanna move any of that cranberry shade up to the orange. I just want to blend out that harsh line. I took a little bit of that deep orange shade onto my first blending brush and this helped me blend it out a little bit more. Now the part that everyone's been waiting for, the glitter. And this is from Lemonhead in Paradise Beef. Going to apply that with this flat brush. And the thing I love about this glitter is that there's no glitter primer needed. And it's very moldable so if you mess up then you can always just take a brush or a finger and just mold it into the shape that you want. So I'm going to really pack that on onto my lids and also into my inner corners. Making sure that when I look up that the glitter shows because like I said the glitter can get lost under all that skin caused by my hooded lid. So at the edge, I'm kind of making the shape like a cat eye and making sure that matches the other side. I'm going to let that completely dry before opening my eyes because I don't want the glitter to crease in my double lid. For the bottom eyes, I'm going to dip into this deep plum shade and I'm using that same sparse tapered brush. I'm really going to pack on that color by tapping my brush on my bottom lash line. I'm going back into this deep orange shade with that same brush and I'm dusting that under the deep plum color. Now I'm adding a little bit more glitter to my inner corners. For the top lashes, I'm using my Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline. And for the bottom lashes, I'm using my Ultimate All-in-One Mascara by Revlon. 
For some lashes, I'm using these by Morphe brushes and this is in the style So Glamorous. I'm using my Proclaim Super Bond Professional Formula Dark Hair Glue to apply that. If you're a makeup beginner and you're having trouble applying lashes, I do have a separate 2-3 minute video on how to apply false lashes. So if you want to see that, I'll leave it in the eye card on your upper right hand corner and I'll also leave it in the description box below. So before adding my falsies to my other eye, I'm just adding some of that cranberry shade into my crease with my sparse tapered brush and then blending that out with my blending brush. For the final touch, I'm adding these individual lashes by Ardell and these are the double ups and I'm applying four to my bottom lash line. And voila! This is the final look! Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful and I hope you guys are able to try out this look I think it's really simple to do. It's just basically three colors and some glitter And you can also mix it up a little if you have some finer glitter and then some chunkier glitters Just make sure that they're all cosmetic glitter and safe for the eyes safe for the face I Hope you get to try it out if you do don't forget to tag me in your pictures on Twitter Instagram Facebook Whatever you name it. I really want to see how your makeup turns out Let me know in the comments below what you think about this look and what other looks you want to see and of course, if you liked this tutorial and think it was helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!